This video is for educational purposes only. We shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content. In the previous video, I showed you how to configure HTTP custom using these type of payloads and your SNI and your SSH server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this type of SNI, this one which comes with its own payload and proxy to get connected. So let me show you. First, we are going to remove this one. We no longer need this one. The only thing you need from this one is the SSH account. So let's go to H3 Custom. We're going to go ahead and clear everything. So we're going to clear and reset the config. Go to snihost.com. I'll leave a link in the video description for this website. Once here, you're going to go ahead and click on SNI generator. Then you're going to select your country, for example, this is common on Ghana. Usually you get this type of SNI on Ghana. So that's why I'm going to select Ghana over here. And then after selecting Ghana, you're going to see most of them are just like that. Some of them do have SNIs, but they also come with their own payloads. Some of them don't have SNI. They have like the IP, just like that. So let's go ahead and copy the whole thing. So I'm going to copy the whole thing i'm going to show you with the first one but the method is the same throughout all of them so let's go ahead and do that just paste it here now that we have everything over here just like that we have our payload and also we have our proxy we don't have sni on this one what you're going to do here is to first check your payload so checking my payload i can see that it is a rotating payload and it is rotating through these uh, snis these are all snis so it's right, rotating through the snis and then you can see that after rotating it goes to a request on this host over here so it makes a request on this host this payload was taken from a working file which is why it has a server name over here we are going to replace this one with our own server name so you make sure that you copy this server name over here you replace this one over here some of the payloads which i i post uh, i will like indicate here and say maybe server name like that I will indicate with server names so that you will know that you have to put on your server name over here but uh, after host just put on your, your server name over here just paste it here yeah. just like that you can leave some space if you want to like that you can leave some space like that the next step is to go over here so you're going to copy your proxy over here you just copy your proxy and then you're going to paste it over here after pasting your proxy over here, you're going to put on your port. Usually when we use a proxy, we use port A. So make sure you put port 80 and then you're going to put add. Then you're going to copy your username just like we usually do. And then you're going to put on your password just like that. After putting on your password, the next thing which you're going to do is to copy your payload. So you're going to copy your payload. Then you're going to go to the navigation drawer. You're going to go to payload and then you're going to paste in your payload. Now you also have to put on a proxy over here. So your proxy, let's just click on apply. For the proxy, you're just going to copy this exactly as it is. Just copy this. And then go back to payload and then you're going to paste it for under remote proxy just like that and then you click on apply the next thing you're going to do is to click on connect you don't have to configure anything else over here just click on connect and you will be connected and uh, i'm not from ghana so i might not get connected over here but as you can see it says um okay 200 okay here which means that uh, the method is working you might have to be patient it will get connected but what happens if uh, let's say that just like this one over here let me show you it's like this one over here it has its own SNIs but also have the, the payload over here so let me show you how you can do and uh, this one which has its 
SNI and payload. It's the same with all the other ones. They all have like their own SNIs and payloads. So let's go ahead and copy this one. And then we're going to paste it here. So let's remove this one since I've already shown you how to use them. Let's paste this one over here. You see, it has its own SNI. It has its own payload. So let's stop this one. It won't connect for me. I'm not from Ghana. This connection won't be established. But for you, it might, it might be established. So let's pause this one. Clear everything here and start everything afresh. Clear everything. Just like always, you're going to... Uh, check your payload first you always check your payload make sure that after host as you can see that we are rotating on this one we are not rotating you say it's connect but we are connecting to this sni so if the sni is the same throughout as you can see it's the same throughout same throughout you don't have to put on uh, your server name over here you don't have to change anything just copy it as it is so copy it and then go click here and then go to payload and then i'm going to paste this payload as it is so we're not gonna change anything we're just gonna paste it as it is and then we're going to click on apply now you're going to go ahead and copy your sni just like that copy your sni and then you're going to go to SNI and then you're going to paste it over there. Just paste it over here. Now here you're going to uh, go ahead and put on your server name. Just like this. Copy, put on your server name. And then you're going to put on your port. You can use port 443, you can use port 80. For example, I'm just going to use port 443. And then you're going to say add and then you're going to put on your username after that you're going to put on your password just like that so the next thing you're going to do is to just click on connect so you click on connect you check your log uh, it might not connect just like for me it is not even trying to connect so you might have to change a few things. Sometimes you might have to switch things around. So to do that, just uh, replace this one with your SNI. So just replace this one with your SNI. If this doesn't connect for you, but if it works, everything will be sorted. You don't have to change nothing. So you replace this one with your SNI. Just like that. And then for your SNI, you're going to put on your server name. Just like this. Click on apply. Then you're going to try to connect again. As you can see, we are now getting like a different response from before. Now, this depends on the type of SNI used and also on uh, if it had its own API like sometimes it has all these details and also have its own proxy if that's the case you just go here you click on this one and then you put on your proxy this is just an example this one doesn't have a proxy if it did have a proxy so you put on your proxy just like that you put on a proxy after your proxy you put just like this you see just like this one you just put on your proxy you put like this and then you put your port you put a uh, add username put in a username and the password then you apply this one doesn't have a uh, its own remote proxy i'm just showing you in case yours does have the remote proxy so that's the third and last method of configuring http custom using a payload and a remote proxy or an sni or ssh saver in the next video i'm going to show you how to configure your http custom using either v2ray utp siphon and slow dns so i'm going to show you those methods in the next upcoming videos if you find this video is full please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions don't hesitate to leave them below and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos until then take care
Peace.